The New York Times just leaked highlights from the upcoming Pentagon UFO report. Find out what it says in this week's episode of On the Edge. my fellow fringe connoisseurs. I'm Jay Jordan Hawk, and you're watching On the Edge. The New York Times continues its string of breaking news in the world of UFO journalism, further contributing to its reputation of acknowledging the seriousness of the UFO phenomena several decades after UFO researchers had concluded the same. So, good job, New York Times. At this pace, you'll be caught up with the rest of us in no time. In their latest article entitled, U.S. Finds No Evidence of Alien Technology in Flying Objects, but can't rule it out either, by Julian Barnes and Helene Cooper. They give some leaked tidbits concerning what the upcoming Pentagon UFO report will conclude. And given that headline, it won't say it's aliens. UFO believers are not happy, but at the same time, if you read the actual article, it's complicated. So, let's dissect this story. Barnes and Cooper begin with, American intelligence officials have found no evidence that aerial phenomena witnessed by Navy pilots in recent years are alien spacecraft, but they still cannot explain the unusual movements that have mystified scientists in the military, according to senior administrative officials briefed on the findings of a highly anticipated government report. Okay, a few logical issues with that statement. We don't know what they are, therefore they are not evidence of alien technology. I'm not blaming the New York Times for this. I'm sure the Pentagon report will go out of its way to say it's not aliens, even while giving clear evidence of such. It's the Pentagon. You need a Pentagon dictionary of doublespeak to understand what they really mean. When they say there is no evidence of alien technology, but we don't know what it is, what they mean is there is lots of evidence that points to alien technology, but we can't conclude that because we just can't. Barnes and Cooper continue with, the report determines that a vast majority of more than 120 incidents over the past two decades did not originate from any American military or other advanced U.S. government technology. That determination would appear to eliminate the possibility that Navy pilots who reported seeing unexplained aircraft might have encountered programs the government meant to keep secret. That sounds like the honest portion of the upcoming report, and if so, it's an astonishing admission on the part of the U.S. government. It's not ours. Therefore, it's someone else's. Could it be aliens? According to the New York Times, the answer is yes, though you have to read between the lines a bit to get at that. Barnes and Cooper write, Senior officials briefed on the intelligence conceded that the very ambiguity of the findings meant the government could not definitively rule out theories that the phenomena observed by military pilots might be alien spacecraft. Again, let me peruse my dictionary of Pentagon doublespeak. It says under, can't rule out, it's probably alien technology. See, this is good news for UFO buffs after all. Personally, my favorite part of this story is what the report will definitively conclude it is not, says Barnes and Cooper. The report concedes that much about the observed phenomena remains difficult to explain, including their acceleration, as well as ability to change direction and submerge. One possible explanation, that the phenomena could be weather balloons or other research balloons, does not hold up in all cases, the officials said, because of changes in wind speed at the time of some of the interactions. Okay, so again, according to my dictionary of Pentagon doublespeak, the sentence reads, Video game programmer turned professional debunker Mick West doesn't know what he's talking about. Personally, I'm content with that. The New York Times goes on to say of the Pentagon report that at least some of the 120 cases they studied might be foreign technology from Russia or China. Barnes and Cooper write, one senior official briefed on the intelligence said without hesitation that U.S. officials knew it was not American technology. He said there was worry among intelligence and military officials that China or Russia could be experimenting with hypersonic technology. Of course, let's assume Russia and or China have made breakthrough advances recently in hypersonic technology. But let's not forget, the Nimitz encounter was in 2004. So either they've had this technology for decades, and American intelligence just hasn't caught on to it yet, or it's not foreign technology. And that argument applies exponentially the further back in time we go. So if it's not balloons, and it's not American top-secret technology, and it's not foreign, what do we have left to conclude? 
In either sense, the New York Times article gives us only a sampling of what is about to be released by the Pentagon, and it looks good so far. It's definitely not ours, and it's not balloons, and Mick West is a sad, sad man. Don't worry, Mick. I'm still your friend. And that's our story for today, everyone. I'm Jay Jordan Hawk. See you next time on The Edge. And if you like my content, be sure to check out my award-winning young adult novels, including Puka is the Outcast, A Scout is Brave, and Unwatchagi the Dreamer.